Guaranteed with quality that's hard to beat. We'll put you in the driving seat. Cavernous of Charleville. You won't find a better deal. Cavernous of Charleville. It's a really difficult day. Um, but Limerick were, were really good for their victory, to be fair to them. A uh, really powerful outfit. And uh, do you know we picked we picked a, a bad day really to lose our bit of consistency and uh, and our, and our uh, choices and decisions on the ball, but I think that was maybe mainly down to the pressure we were playing under two from that, from from the way Limerick were uh, coming at us. So, you know, massive congratulations to Limerick. They're they're a, a really really good team, and uh, you know, I think they would have been uh, a real test for any opposition today. Probably a frustrating afternoon insofar as not being able to get into the rhythm of the game, being so reliant on freeze and place balls that you were never really allowed to find anything close to the rhythm we've seen from you over the course of the championship. Yeah, that's 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 absolutely correct. Like it's you know, Limerick bring such a game plan that they have so many options and so many fellas you have to keep an eye on and they're creating this overlap and I suppose when you're concentrating on them so much it's very hard to, to implement your own game style. But you no, know, we came today to have a real cut and um in fairness to my lads I have to really you know, really say that they, they right to the end. I know the scoreboard wasn't pretty at the end, but I know that they gave it everything. Looking in at the line from them, they, they emptied their their stomachs to try and you know cling in there and do do the right things. And it wasn't from the one to try in today. It's just that we met superior opposition. Just a, a last one for me. Obviously, I know it might not feel it to players at the moment, but so much achieved this year in so far as what we've seen from Waterford in previous years. That there there are green shoots that can be taken from. 2020, albeit they're probably not that evident to addressing room of players right now. Ah, yeah, it's a clearly raw, raw place down there at the moment now. To be fair, but yeah, look, we'd like to think that we've made great progression this year. But you know, the real test of us will be next year now to see how we can build on that and make sure that that, that our progression stays on, on an upward curve all the time. So, um, and that's a job of work for me and, and the management team again now to get down to it early next year and make sure that we try and unearth a couple of new players again and start giving ourselves more options and. Uh, I suppose really looking at our whole strength and condition side of it as well to make sure that we can, you know, physically um, improve and and be able to try and match match the likes of Limerick and other counties out there that are so physical uh, in the modern game. So yeah, big big job of work ahead, but a good year and a good experience for a lot of them players down there today. Liam, how was the nature of Ty De Burke's injury? Obviously, a big blow to lose him so early. Yeah, Ty De Burke's injury, Tomas, I'm not sure. I, 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 my initial reaction would be that it's not good. So. Um, you know, for a man that has tried, you know, unbelievably hard to get back into the shape he was in and hurling the way he was, having a cruciate knee ligament already last year, and uh, I, I hope tomorrow when, when we get in behind it that it's not too drastic. But I, I would have my concerns. He created two big goal chances in the first half, Liam yeah. Jack Fagan. I think on two men, Stephen Bennett towards the end of the half. Yeah. Did one of those really have to go in if uh, you're yeah. going to lift yeah. up today? Yeah, we need, we needed to score two to three goals today. We said that we needed to. And like we did, we created and we had one or two half chances in the second half as well, playing playing poorly um, and playing maybe without real uh, energy. The energy was kind of sapped out of us. But you know we needed them two goals to go in. And like I think Jack flashed across the face of the goal and Stevens was was uh, just a bit pressure came on and it was blocked. Like so, um, no, we needed to go. We needed to be in two twenty four, two twenty five territory today to, to counteract whatever points Limerick were going to put in the board and. The, the scoreboard, you know, told the story at the end from when we hadn't been two or three goals to put beside the 19, 20 points where we're going to be in trouble. What was the difference between the Limerick team we met today, Liam, and the Limerick team we met in the Munster final last month? Uh, I think they, they, they've not, not a lot really when you look in at it from from their, their style and the way they went about their business. But I just thought today they were even more aggressive, um, really, really chasing everything and hunting everything and. Um, you know, everything they touched today went over the bar and it did in the Munster final as well for long periods but when you're a good team and you have the composure that Limerick have and um, most of the time them chances go over the bar because of the because of the, the quality they have and you know you hats, have hats, hats off to them well done, you know. Do you think you could have had more freeze mentioned that aggression? They seem determined not to let you get near the goal in Yeah, there was there was a couple of incidents there that you feel maybe would warrant um um a little bit more um stricter punishment for for a couple of times. We did break the tackle and get through but 
no, I thought I thought Fergal Horgan had a really good game today. To be fair to him, I thought he refereed the match really, really well, and uh, and we have no complaints in that department. None. Yeah. Is it something the GA need to look at? Being in a, in a wider sense, a bigger punishment. Maybe when a forward is going through on goal and, and the defender brings him down, is 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 the yellow card harsh enough in, in your view? Well, I'd say today definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think I, I know that we, we tied with the idea of the black card and, and the sin being there early in, in, in towards the early part of the year and. I wasn't maybe in favour of it, but uh, I think now, not just today, but I see throughout the, the course of our championship this year that I think it's something that has to be looked at.